Hi everyone, this is Troy with Mersive, and today we're going to look at how to configure the digital signage feature in Solstice. The digital signage feature was added in the 3.4 release and enables your pods to become dual collaboration and signage endpoints. This provides additional value from the system by allowing users to collaborate and share content wirelessly in meetings and now also by allowing your Solstice displays to act as signage endpoints when they aren't in active use for meetings. The new feature is fairly robust and will play most HTML-based content. However, there are some limitations around resource-intensive content as well as around feeds with certain elements like WebGL. So with that in mind, today we're gonna to show you how to configure and validate your signage feeds before you deploy them in your production environment. So the first thing you wanna do is identify a pod that you can test and validate signage on. In this case, we're looking at the Altitude Huddle Space pod, and I'm just gonna configure signage for this one pod first and try out my feed and see if it works. So in the dashboard, I've selected my Altitude Huddle Space pod. Now I'll go to the Digital Signage tab. Here, I can enable Digital Signage feature and by default, the Mersive Digital Science URL will be populated in the source URL field. You can easily change this to a different URL that you want to point at for signage. I've selected a simple screen feed URL, so I've put that in. Next, I need to select the signage mode. Currently, it's set to run in full screen mode, Mersive doesn't recommend this mode because it doesn't provide any user instructions, um, but it is the most friendly mode for different types of signage content. So we recommend you enable footer or footer and overlay. If you have trouble with either of those modes, you can use full screen. But again, we only recommend full screen if your users are already familiar with Solstice, already know how to open the Solstice app and connect to the display based on the room that they're in. Um, otherwise, if your users need instructions, like if they need to know the display name and or if they need uh, the more granular connection instructions as well as calendar information, please select the footer only or the footer plus overlay with the various elements enabled that your users need. So for this feed, I'm going to go ahead and select footer only since our users are pretty sophisticated. The last option is uh, how much time should elapse between when the last user disconnects from the display and signage starts. In this case, I'm going to leave it at 10 seconds, but of course you can change it to whatever you'd like. Now that I've uh, selected all my options, I'm going to hit apply. And the next step is to go to the room. Uh, so over in altitude huddle space, I'm waiting to validate that the signage feed plays correctly. It should come on and we should see the signage content appear in the screen. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to give it a couple seconds, see if it'll change to the next slide smoothly. And it does. Now for your deployment, we recommend that you let the signage feed play all the way through and validate that it restarts. For the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and jump to the next step. The next step is to connect and share content to that display to make sure that the display is still responsive. So I'm going to open my Solstice app and connect to Altitude Huddle Space. Now that I'm connected, the signage feed goes away and I'm back to my welcome screen. And as you can see, there's a Meeple icon in the bottom left corner of the display that represents my user connection and I'll go ahead and share some content to ensure all the sharing capabilities are still intact for the pod. No problem sharing content. These are a bunch of slides from the immersive signage feed. I can move them around uh, and delete them as needed. So that's good news. Everything's working great. I'll go ahead and disconnect and the next step is to wait and validate that the signage feed comes back after 10 seconds. So we'll, we'll give it a few seconds here and we should see the signage feed pop back up. And there it goes. 
Now again, at this point, you should wait and let the signage feed play all the way through and ensure it restarts. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna you know, skip through that step and assume that it's gonna work. So now back over in the dashboard, the last thing to do when you're deploying signage is to ensure that the, an admin password is set for this pod so that no one can change that signage feed. Because remember, the URL that you point to will show anytime Solstice isn't being used in a meeting. So it's important to maintain control of that because you don't want a nefarious user to point your URL at some content that you don't want to be seen by your end users. So here over in the security tab of the dashboard, I'll set this password. And hit apply and apply changes. Now that password is set and only admin dashboard users with the password can make changes to this pod. That's the process for validating signage. Now that you've seen and validated everything on a singular pod, you can go ahead and roll it out to your broader production deployment. One thing to keep in mind is that anytime you change to a new signage feed or even modify the existing feed that you have in place, you should go back through this process to ensure signage is running smoothly in your production environment. We hope you find the digital signage feature to be a useful value add to your Solstice deployment. Of course, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to visit customersupport.mersive.com and reach out to us by opening a ticket if need be. Thank you.